In this calculation, we'll be doing the mid-ordinate rule in a alternating current circuit theory. And all I've done is I've taken a question from the activity in the textbook. It is question 13 from activity 3.1. We are given eight mid-ordinate values for a sine wave representing current. And using these eight mid-ordinate values, we need to calculate the average value the RMS value, the form factor, and crest factor. So first of all, to calculate the average value for the sine wave for current, we will take all the mid-ordinate values and we will divide by the number of mid-ordinate values. So we substitute the values for the mid-ordinate values. We have 4,7 amps plus 8,1 plus 13,5 plus 19,4 plus 20, plus 33, plus 17,22, plus 1,11, and we divide by 8 because there are 8 mid-ordinate values. So therefore, the average current for this sine wave is 14,628 amperes. Now, to calculate the RMS value, it's square root over, and we square each mid-ordinate value, and we divide by the number of mid-ordinates. So we substitute our values in, so it's going to be 4,7 square plus 8,1 square plus 13,5 square plus 19,4 square plus 20 square plus 33 square plus 17,22 square plus 1,1 square divided by 8 and we square root the answer and therefore the RMS value for our sine wave will be 17 comma 439 amperes. To calculate the form factor, it is the ratio of the RMS value to the average value. If you had a perfect sine wave, you should get a, a ratio of 1,11. So we substitute the RMS values and average values and we get a ratio of 1,192. To calculate the crest factor, it is the ratio of the maximum value to the RMS value. The highest value in our mid-ordinates is 20 amperes, so we divide by the RMS, which is 17,439, and we end up with a crest factor of 1,147. Well, that's it uh, for the mid-ordinate values. In hindsight, uh, not too difficult to do this question. 